Have you guys ever felt like your feet were just in a straight jacket after a long day of hunting because your boots are just too difficult to get off? Well, I'm gonna show you a very simple, effective solution that's easy to make yourself. Let's get started. Welcome back everyone to Vital Point. This is your host Andrew Penzi. Have you guys struggled with getting your hunting boots off sometimes? Oh my gosh, it could be so frustrating when you just want to be free from these things but there's nothing to grab on to get them off. Well, I'm going to show you a quick simple solution. We are making a boot remover. Everybody needs one. Let's get to it. Welcome to my overcrowded and underlit workshop. But this is where the magic happens, people. I have experimented with lots of different types of boot removers using your know, rounded, different angular types, and just to see what works best. And I think I've decided on my favorite, so let's make one. I am starting off today with just a piece of three quarter inch pine. I'm going to cut it down to five inches width by 16 inches length. I'm going to mark my five inches, mark my 16 inches. This sliding miter saw is so handy for quick cuts like this. Voila! Go ahead and mark the center point of your board and just draw a line down the middle. Now you don't really need these little sharp tips here because when the boot goes in, that's kind of excess. So what we're going to do is measure over a half inch from the end so that we have a flat edge. You want to measure three and three quarter inches down the center there and I have my half inch mark on the ends and once I have that mark I'm just going to draw a triangle connecting them like so. Now I just go ahead and cut out that triangle with either a jigsaw or a handsaw and we're almost there. Don't cut through your table saw. I went ahead and passed the belt sander along this just to give it a little smooth finish and clean it up a little bit. Now I am making this to keep inside my car because I keep my boots pretty much in my car all the time. If you wanted though to make this uh, out of a nicer piece of wood, say maple for instance, uh, you can go ahead and do that. Give it some stain and varnish when you're done, a polyurethane, and you can keep it in the foyer of your home or in your mudroom, something like that. And that's really handy too. I'm actually thinking about making a second one to keep inside, keep this one in the car. Now you want your fulcrum piece of wood to be high enough so that it catches this edge of your boot right here because that's what's going to grab it to pull it off. Also the further back you put this piece of wood you can see it raises this up. So that makes a difference too but it's more comfortable to have it closer to the end here. That way you can rest your foot, your back foot down flat to hold it. I've got this piece of inch and a half by inch and a quarter cedar that seems to work out just perfectly. Trimmed it down to the five inches and I'm going to mount it about three quarters of an inch behind the center of the V here. I'm going to throw a couple screws in here but again if you're doing this a nice piece for inside put in a couple finish nails and make it look good. If you guys are liking the channel then do me a favor and like the channel. Alright we just step on the end here. Oh a thing of beauty. It's a thing of beauty. Let's try the other side. Oh, I love it. I love it. Here I am after a long tough day of hunting and I am dreading getting these boots off but I don't have to dread anymore because I have a boot remover. Just throw it in. Kick it off. Wow that is awesome. You gotta make one of these things. Until next time this is Andrew Penzi signing out. Always aim for that vital point.